Hello, my name is Horst Jagmeng. I'm a member of the leader team of the Seixler Support Campus in Aachen and I want to introduce in this video the Seixler NBG 418N to you. It's a multifunctional device with router, access point, bridge and client. In this video we're going to have a look to the device unboxing and the first steps to set up this device. But first let's have a look what is inside the box. Let's open the box of the NBG 418N version 2. Inside the box you can find the quick start guide in multiple language which gives you the instruction to set up the device in a few steps. Also you can find the FCC declaration and of course the hardware which consists of the MBG 418N device with two fixed antennas, power on, off button, wide area network and LAN connections as well as a WPS button, a network cable and a power supply. If you connect the device to the power make sure the power button is off and connect it to the power supply before you plug it into the mains. Then you can establish the connection between your computer and the device and to the internet. The internet connection can come from a DSL or cable modem as well as a fiber connection from your service provider. Use a dynamic or a static IP address. Let's have a look at the setup of the NBG 418N version 2. You can connect to the device using a web browser in incognito modus and then type in the address 192.168.1.1 and when you enter the device ask for a username and password. Username is always admin, password 1234. You have to add a new password which consists of minimum 8 characters and then the device opens the main page. You have the choice of two different installation modes. One is the wizard setup and one is for advanced setup. And you can choose your language. We use the wizard setup modus, which is very easy. In a few steps you enter the connection to the internet and the wireless. The internet connection could be done by a PPPoE connection, which is username and password towards your service provider. And also you can use a dynamic or static IP address if the device that connects you to the internet delivers already a LAN port where you can connect this router. In the next step, we then set a new name to the wireless network. In the wireless SSID, you can fill in the name where you can remember. We set this to a test version. Then you have the opportunity to change the channel of the wireless. If you have a lot of wireless access points in your home, choose the, the channel 9, 11 or leave it on auto if there is no high density. And the channel width also on the standard value. In the lower part you can set the security to your device. Remember to key in a wireless password that is case sensitive, so you have to key it in exactly the same way like you enter it here. That was already the setup. We apply this to the device, it restarts and you can change the connection from cable to wireless on your network. Then you can browse for the wireless clients for the wireless networks in your neighborhood, find our test network, key in exactly the security key that we set to it and connect. So the connection is done in a few seconds. In the advanced setup you have the opportunity to set every part of your network 
and also change the firmware version. Firmware version is always visible on the status page, should be the actual version. And if you are not sure if this is the last version, visit our FTP site and browse for the latest firmware. Further, you can set up all connections like the wireless LAN, the internet connection, LAN settings, DHCP and so far in the left menu. Make sure if you change anything on the wireless setup that you are connected with a cable. The most important part is on the maintenance, that's the system operation mode, because here you can set the device to four different modes. One is the router mode that we already did before. It connects an existing internet port by wireless or LAN to several other devices using a small firewall. The other point is an access point in the network. If you choose this, regard that the, the LAN ports are bridged and the device will only be available as an access point. There's no DHCP, no firewall. As a universal repeater, the device connects to an existing wireless network and repeats it towards the clients that are connected to the MBG418N. Further, you can also connect LAN clients to it. As a client bridge, the device is like a client and connects to an existing network to uh, connect computers on the LAN port to the network. If you are looking for more information for your device, you can find it on our FTP server in the map NBG for 18N version 2. There are the latest firmware versions or again the quick start and the user guide. If anything on your device is not working, use the reset button on the back side of your device, push it for 12 seconds and the device turns back into factory modes. For any question about our products or for multiple help, visit our support portal under support.zeixel.eu. You can find more than 600 help articles in different languages as well as videos and our demonstration lab. This was the introduction of our Zeixel NBG router. If you like our unboxing videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell if you want to be notified. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. We're Zysel, and we're your networking ally.